Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, this time taking a look at how we can create export settings in Compressor and then use them from within Final Cut Pro 10 rather than having to constantly send your clips or your sequences to Compressor. Now the way we do this is first of all you want to create a custom export setting, so if we hop over to Compressor, um, Command Tab to uh, access that uh, application navigator, and what you want to do is basically choose a starting uh, setting to manipulate into your custom settings. So what I'm going to do is choose uh, this uh, under video sharing services, the HD 720p, and then I'm going to right click and press duplicate. And then it's going to show up in my custom folder. You can see it says HD 720p copy. Now, now from here we can go into the inspector and we can start manipulating the settings. The first tab um, will be greyed out as you'll notice this is probably what you'll see so what you want to do is click on the second tab and then we can start playing around with this so under video if we click settings what I want to do is keep it on H.264 but limit the bitrate because if we take a look at the moment you can see at the moment it's going to churn out 4.61 gigabytes per hour of footage which is quite a lot we want it to be very small because we want to quickly and easily be able to upload files that look nice but don't have the file sizes. So if we press restrict to, and let's set it to 3,500 kilobytes a second, which is 3.5 uh, megabytes a second, which will be much smaller. And if we press OK, um, we're going to leave it at best because we because we're sacrificing file size. We want a decent encode rather than a faster encode. And click OK, and you can see now that's that's chopped off three gigabytes per hour of footage, which is which is what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and check audio. Uh, this looks good. Um, I might set it to 256 because audio is paramount. That's going to up the file size, not at all apparently. Um, so that's no problem at all. We don't need to play around with streaming. A lot of these um, aren't issues. These are just if you want to custom crop and change things. So we're just going to go ahead and press uh, save after we name it. So we're going to call this uh, 720p low bitrate upload then press save and you can see under custom it's now showing up here that's all well and good but how do we access this in Final Cut without ever actually having to launch compressor um, first so if we go ahead and quit compressor so just imagine it was never open and we click on this share button we can add a destination. We want to click that, and then under destinations, you can see that compressor settings is one of them. So just give that a double click, and then it loads up these folders. And down here at the bottom, you can see we've got a custom, and here is our 720p low bitrate upload. So we're going to go ahead and press OK, and that's going to add it to the list. You can see I've actually already got one for a low bitrate 1080p version. If you want to change which preset it's using, you can go ahead and press change, but that's looking good for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and X out of that window. Then from here we can press the share button and you can see it shows up in this list. So we don't have to load compressor, we don't have to then faff around with adding uh, cues and stuff like that, it will just do it automatically. It's telling me I have some offline files. It's fine, that's nothing to do with this tutorial. And then I can name the file from within here, let's say uh, render I think that's 13. My Roman numerals isn't exactly a forte. And then we want to go ahead and press next. And then it's give, going to give us a save location. And then we never have to deal with any of the compressors, confusing dialog boxes. We can just save it out and carry on. Um, so we go ahead and press save. You can see it's going to prepare the media to share first of all. So drink some tea whilst it's doing that. This shouldn't take too long depending on how big the sequence is. Obviously mine's a bit more complicated so I'm just going to I was going to say I was going to cut to it, but it's going to do it for us. If we go ahead and press Command 9, you can see that it's sharing right from within the application. It never loads compressor, it just uses the compressor settings in order to give you the final export that you want. So hopefully this was useful. I'm going to cancel that because I don't actually want to render it yet. But hopefully this was useful. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you comment with any uh, tutorial suggestions, then I do read these and I, I try to 
uh, churn out the tutorials that you guys want to see. So that's why the engagement's an important part for me. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook because YouTube's doing a rubbish job of actually delivering my videos. So if you do want to see more ones, uh, follow me on uh, Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Dan Allen Films, or on Twitter is at AS Productions. Links are always in the description, so uh, you can find them there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Hello and welcome...